What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Cauldron Music Biohazard Update. Yeah, so it's been, um, we're, we're a solid week or so into the official COVID-19 quarantine, and uh, the public seems to be handling it in a pretty reasonable and, and, and uh, responsible way, so, so that's pretty cool. Um, as parents, we've been homeschooling our kids, of course, which uh, basically makes me the band instructor, the shop teacher, and of course the recess lady. Um, me and the boys have been working on a birdhouse classic right boom you get that ready for the birds this spring but anyway this whole quarantine thing uh, coincided with the completion of my three black walnut boomsticks this is the Tommy gun right here and while I've got a mountain of footage that I'm compiling and editing right now of all the various details uh, involved in completing this project I wanted to keep current and uh, say what's up to everybody and um, and kind of show you what I've been doing with my downtime during this uh, this very unusual time in our American lives. What I'm doing right now is uh, working on my Tommy gun. So let's get down to the details. So basically, for the last few days, I've been working on this extensive uh, punch list, filing down the nut, the bridge. Uh, string height, string you know distancing and and uh, angle of attack and all that kind of stuff trying to make these things uh, play uh, the best that they possibly can. Whoever ends up buying this uh, amazing piece of performing art this this video can serve as sort of a tutorial for this particular aspect of of making adjustments to the Tommy gun. So what I'm doing is uh, making a few different wedges here, right so I got. I've got uh, the one that's installed on the Tommy gun at the time. This wedge here is three degree angle. I got a six, a five, and a four here. I'm gonna finish two versions of each of these, uh, two different thicknesses of each. You'll have both uh, a shim that will adjust the angle and the height uh, for your particular style. What's really important with the realist pickup here is that the pressure is applied directly straight down across the two small uh, raised uh, uh, connections that are, are in, in case inside the, the pickup there. And the angle where your string passes over the bridge here, that needs to be coming down pretty much directly on top of, of that pickup to simulate how that pickup would be sitting under a standard base foot of a upright base bridge, right? I'm going to go directly to a 6 degree and I'm just going to work one of these uh, shims right now. I'm going to get it down to the same, the, the right size and shape and everything and install that just to see what kind of sound difference I get. Now I am already so happy with the way this thing is sounding but I feel that I have an obligation to uh, experiment and put some extra time into uh, covering all bases and and again making sure that this thing sounds as good as it possibly can uh, So here we go It's the greatest tool but the end of a romance we once knew Romantic childhood
you know, it just keeps getting better and better. Shaking shit off the shells. Ooh. There's a lot less, a lot less noise uh, from the strings. The tone is a, a bit better too. I, I like this. Uh, yeah. Dude, yeah, yeah. There's a hell of a lot less noise on on, on uh, a hell of a lot less fret uh, fret noise. That may that may be because uh, that did lift the action up a little bit. I like that angle a lot better. I think I'm getting better tone. Uh, it's more reliable too. A big thing that um, is is a test for me is often you'll get a much different. You might be getting great uh, tone with finger picking, but the bow will sound like shit. Um, and a good test is. What does the bow sound like? And it's, it's freaking gorgeous. And again, this is this is just a simple um, mid uh, mid scoop. Um, otherwise, this is straight straight from the instrument. Here's let's drop that mid scoop for a second. I'll show you what the raw sound is right here. It's still fantastic. Get rid of a little bit of that uh, mid range. Noisy, but you know when when you're just getting the pure amp noise, it's far less. Yes, yes, sir. But uh, yeah, so so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and and. Uh, finish all those other shims, two different thicknesses of each angle, um, and uh, when when this guy finally goes to find his permanent home, those extra shims will go with it, along with a complete uh, list of instructions for, for how to how to work with those. Like I said earlier, that I'm, I'm in the process of editing uh, all the footage of, of, of wrapping these things up, and uh, coming soon. Thanks for watching. See ya.